Good morning, everyone. Today we're back with the MP Kid, um, Dog Days by Jeff Kimmy. Um, last time we finished the MP, glad we have MP Kid, the ugly truth. Well, let's continue. June, Friday. For me, summer vacation is basically a three month guild trip. Just because the weather's nice, everyone expects you to be outside all day for looking or whatever, and if you don't spend Every, sec every second outdoors, people think there's something wrong with you. But the truth is, I've always been more of an indoor person. The way I like to spend my summer vacation is in front of my, it's in front of my TV, playing video games with the curtains closed and the lights are off. Unfortunately, Mom's idea of the perfect summer vacation is different from mine. You should really let some sunlight in here. Hiss! Mom says it's not natural for a kid to stay indoors when it's sunny out. I tell her that I'm just trying to protect my skin so I don't look all wrinkly when I'm old like her, but she doesn't want to hear it. Mom keeps at trying to get me to do something outside, like go to the pool, but I spend the first part of the summer at my friend Mally's pool, that, and that didn't work so good. Rowley's family belongs to a country club, and when school let out for the summer, we were going there every single day. Then we made a mistake of inviting this girl named Trista, who just moved into our neighborhood, and thought it would be nice of us to share our country club lifestyle with her. But a second, uh, five seconds after we got to the pool, she met some lifeguard and forgot all about the guys who invited her there. The lesson I learned is that some people won't think twice about using you, especially when there's a country club involved. Me and Rowley were better off without a girl hanging around, without anyone. Actually, we're both bachelors at the moment, and during the summer, it's better to be unattached. Hello, ladies. Hot tub for about for adults use only. A few days, uh, a few days ago, I noticed the quality of service at the country club was starting to go down a little. Like sometimes the temperature in the sauna was a few degrees too hot, and one time the poolside waiter forgot to put one of his uh, umbrellas in my fruit smoothie. I reported all my complaints to Rowdy's dad, and, and for some reason, Mr. Jefferson never passed them on the clubhouse manager. Which is kind of weird, but if it was me who was paying for a country club membership, I'd want to, to make sure I was getting my money's worth. Anyway, a little while later, Rowdy told me he wasn't allowed to invite me to his pool anymore, which is fine with me. I'm just happy inside my air-conditioned house when I don't have to check my soda can before bees every time I go to the take a sip. Saturday. Like I said, Mom keeps trying to get me to go into the pool with her and my little brother Manny. But the thing is, my family belongs to my town pool, not the country club. And once you've wasted and once you've tasted the country club life, it's hard to go back to being an ordinary Joe at the town pool. Snack bar, trash. Besides that, last year I warned to myself that I could never go back to that place again. At the town pool, you have them go through the locker room before you can go swim, and that means walking to the shower area where grown-ups men are soaping down right out in the open. The first, the worst, the first time I walked through the men's locker room at the town pool was one of the most traumatic experiments of my life. Patrons will shower before entering pool. I must. I'm probably lucky. I would. I didn't go blind. Seriously, I didn't. I don't see why mom and dad bother to try and protect me from horror movies stuff like that. If they're gonna expose me to something like a thousand times worse, I really wish mama would s stop asking me to go in the town pool because every time she does, it puts images in my mind that I've been trying hard to forget. Sunday. Well, now I'm definitely staying indoors for the rest of the summer. Mama had a house meeting last night and said money is tied for this year and we can't afford to go to the beach, which means no family vacation. 
That really stinks. I was really looking forward to going to the beach this summer. Not because I like the ocean and the sand and all of that, because I don't. I realized a long time that all the world's fish and turtles and the whales go to the bathroom right there in the ocean, and I seem to be the person who's bothered by this. My brother Roderick likes tease likes to tease me because thing thinks I'm afraid of the waves. I'm telling you that th that's not at all. Scream! Anyway, I was looking forward to going to the beach here because I'm finally tall enough to go on the cranium shaker, which is that which is this really awesome ride that that's on the boardwalk. Roderick has been on the Quinian Shaker at least 100 times, and he says you can't call yourself a man until you ride it. Mom said maybe if we save our pennies, we can go back to the beach next year. Then she said we'd still do a lot of fun stuff as a family, and one day we'll look back on this as the best summer ever. Well, now I only have two things to look forward to the summer. One is my birthday, and this other is when the last uh, Lil Kitty comics run in the paper. I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but Lil Kitty is the worst comic ever. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, here's what ran in the paper today. Daddy, it's rain, just got sweating. But here's the thing. Even though I hate Lil Cutie, I can't stop myself from reading it. And Dad can't either. I guess we just like uh, being, seeing how bad it is. Look at this garbage. Give me that. Lil Cutie has been around for at least 30 years and it's written by this guy named Bobby. Named Bob Post. I've heard Lil Cutie is based on Bob's son and when he was a, a little kid. If I eat this green bean, will its mommy and daddy be sad? Cartoon. But I guess that the real little guilty is all grown up and his dad is having trouble coming up with new material. Shake, shake. A couple of weeks ago, the newspaper announced that Bob Post is retiring and the final little guilty is gonna be printed in August. Ever since then, me and Dad have been counting down the days until the last comic runs. When the, when the last little kilty comes out, me and Dad will have to throw a party. Because something like that deserves a serious celebration. Monday. Even though me and Dad see an eye to eye on little kilty, and there are still a lot of things we butt heads over. The big issue between us uh, right now is my sleep schedule. During the summer, I like to stay up all night watching TV or playing video games and then sleep through the morning. But Dad gets kind of crabby if I'm still in bed when he gets home from work. Lately, Dad's been calling me at noon to make sure I'm not still asleep, so I kept I keep a phone by my side and use my bed and my use my best wide awake voice when he calls me. He, I think Dad's jealous because he has to go to work while the rest of us gets to kick back and take it easy every day. But if he's gonna be all grumpy about it, I, he should just become a teacher or a snow plane. Uh, drive um, to um, have one of those jobs uh, where you get to take summers off. Mom's not really happy to improve Dad's move either. She calls him at work about five times a day with uh, updates on everything that's going on around the house. Guess what Manny did in the party today? Guess, guess. Tuesday. Dad got Mom a new camera for Mother's Day, and lately she's been uh, taking a lot of pictures. I think it's because uh, she feels guilty about not keeping up on family photo album. When my older brother Roderick was a baby, Mom was totally on top of things. Roderick's first time trying peas. Roderick's second time trying peas. Roderick's first time feps. Kaboom. Well, once I came along, I guess Mom got busy, so from that point on, there are a lot of gaps in our fam official family history. Welcome Gregory to the world, taking Gregory home from the hospital, Gregory's third, sixth birthday party, Gregory's first day of middle school. 
I've learned the photo albums weren't an accurate um, record of what um, happened in our life. Anyway, last year, when we were at the beach, Mom bought a bunch of fancy teachers at a gift shop. But, and later on, I saw her bury them in the sand for men to discover. Look, Kent, what you found, Manny. No, oh, I wish I didn't seem that because it made me re re evaluate my whole childhood. Larry really digs shells. Today, Mom said I was looking shaggy, so she told me she was taking me to get a haircut. But I never would have agreed to get my hair cut if I knew that Mom was taking me to Bombshell's beauty salon, which is where Mom and Grandma get their hair cuts. I have to say, though, the whole beauty salon experiment wasn't that bad because, first of all, they have TVs all around the place, so you can watch a show while you're waiting to get your hair cut. Second, they have a lot of tableaus. Those newspapers and you see in the checkout lines at grocery stores. Mom, mom says uh, tablets are full of lies, but I think there's some really important stuff in those things. Ma miracle pill to make you smarter. 97% smarter. Books, libraries to become extinct. Grandma is always buying tablets. Even though Mom doesn't didn't approve, a few weeks ago Grandma wasn't answering her phone, so Mom got worried and drove over to Grandma's to see if she was okay. Grandma was fine, but she wasn't picking up her phone because of something she read. Cordless telephones erase the memory of the elderly. But when Mom asked her Grandma where she got information, Grandma said, "Um, the New York Times." Grandma's dog Henry died recently, and ever since when, then Grandma has a, a lot had a lot of time on her hands. So Mom's dealing with stuff like the cordless um, phone thing a lot of these days. Whenever Mom finds any tablets at Mom Grandma's house, she takes them home and throws them in the garbage. Last week, I f I fished them one out of the trash and read it in my bedroom. I'm glad I did because that um, out of the new North New. America will be underwater within six months, so that kind of takes uh, the pressure off me to do well in school. I had a long wait at the beauty salon, but I didn't really mind. I got to read my horror posts and look at the pictures of movie stars without their makeup, so I was definitely entertained. When I got my hair cut, I found at the best thing about the beauty sal salon, which is the gossip. The ladies who walk them know the dirt on about about everyone in town. And then Marlon says to Vanessa, If you're gonna get up in my face, you'd better be ready back it in here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Unfortunately, Mama came to pick me up right in the middle of the story about Mr. Pepper and his new wife, who's 20 years younger than him. Hopefully my hair will grow out fast so I can come back and hear the rest of the story. Well, I think we'll leave it there for today. See you next time, guys. Bye!